Dude, bud. Which 28 gram pen are we looking at today? Why none other than the Hong Dian C1? I have to tell you, I kind of love everything about this pen. There's really nothing I can fault on it. It's affordable, well made, nice nib, and a wicked yellow color. There is one little detail that I'll point out that they did a good job on, but it's off a touch and it may ruin the pen for everybody. But other than that, it's fantastic. So the lovely folks over at 365 Day Stationery sent me this Hong Dian C1 for review. They they asked if I'd like to review it, and I really I saw it in sort of my feed on AliExpress show up, didn't think much of it, and they said, would you like to check it out? So I took a closer look, and I thought, you know, that's a cool looking pen, let's try it. There is a number of colors, like black, red, blue, I think possibly white, and this yellow. That yellow kind of grabbed my eye. Got the pen, took it out of the package. It's just a little plastic sleeve it comes in. And right away I went, wow, like that's a really nice yellow. Held it in the hand. It just felt great. The cap, I noticed that. It's a very nice smooth slip cap. That felt fantastic. Posted it. That felt really good. Put it in the hand. Felt even better. Then I inked it up and I wrote wonderfully. What more could you want? Super affordable pen. Uh, you know, Canadian price and there's US price, but somewhere... Oh, I think it's about 10 or 12 bucks, somewhere in that range US. Very reasonable. Brass body, a little bit of injection molded plastic on here, and a fantastic paint job to go along with the trim. The trim is done very well. The coating on here, it's really, really good. It has uh, a fine nib. The other option's extra fine. So for you folks out there that like a thick, juicy nib, unfortunately, they don't have that in the lineup now. I hope they do soon because this is... I really enjoy it. I, I've been using this one nonstop. As soon as I got it, put it in my hand, I went, yes, I like this. I've had a number of Hongian pens. One was built not so great. The other ones have been totally fine, and they're good pens, but nothing really got me excited about them, kind of wanting to use them all the time. Uh, but this one, I want to use it all the time. Cartridge converter. It's the uh, Jinhao style converter, the Hongian one. They're they're swappable. You can't take an international standard converter or ink cartridge and put it on there. So those are the ones you got to use is the Hong Yan or the Jin Hao. Fits in there quite nice. I even noticed the converter, the uh, little ring here at the end, it fits on really nice and snug. It uh, They've improved, I think, possibly, oh, if we can focus, but maybe they've made a slight change to that or else it's something on the, the end of the nipple down there and the end of the feed. But the, the mating of the parts is quite good. Plating on the converter, everything just feels a little bit better. I've noticed... Build quality on uh, the Chinese manufactured pens has seemed to drastically improved, and uh, I'm very happy about that. We've got a nice little O-ring down here to uh, just increase the friction between the barrel and the body so the barrel doesn't kind of come undone when you're using the pen. As far as using it, it fits in the hand perfectly. I got a big mitt, so unposted, it's still great. Posted, if I'm doing a little bit longer, I'll chuck it on there. It doesn't backweight the pen. The balance feels really good. Overall, like just, yeah, it's it, the balance, the, the, the feel, the section, just everything. Uh, yeah, I think this is a real winner. The only thing I would wish they improved just from the aesthetics part, uh, they're not going to do it because of the cost, um, is just a clip. I think this is probably off of some of the other, other pens or something. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I just find a slightly different design, a little bit blockier, I think would fit with the overall aesthetics a little bit more. That's that's just a me perspective, a me thing, so it doesn't mean anything, but uh, the clip is a little bit stiff too. It it works, it's, it's gonna be you know secure and whenever you, you clip it on, but if you like to just slip it easily over a shirt pocket, it might bind on the shirt pocket a little bit. So I have the lighting just right, you can see the reflection. So that's a thin wall brass body uh, construction here on the main body of the pen and also the cap. From looking down in there, again, I, I can't really show you, but you can see those marks on the side, and then just, oh, we got really good lighting. There we go, perfect. This looks like it's drawn. So the same type of process when you make the housing on a on a bullet, on a cartridge. So the brass body's there. Oh, we're losing the tripod. There we go, I think I got things all stable. But I believe just from the looks of it and the manufacturing, also the price point of the pen, I believe this is a drawn part. So the main body and the cap as well. You just like with uh, housings there for cartridges, for bullets, those things get cranked out super fast, very low cost per unit for manufacturing. 
I think that's what they're using to make this pin and that's why the price is at where it's at. Now this is an interesting thing. As soon as I realized that this was metal body, metal cap, but then I had a look at the section, this is injection molded plastic, right away I thought, well, wait a second, you have to color match. Now this is the part where I might ruin it. And I might not actually, well, no, no, now you can see it. We got the lighting just right. The yellows are extremely close. The body is just like a little bit darker, a little bit shinier, a little bit nicer. But I didn't notice this at first until I went looking for it. But you can see just a slight hair of a color variation between this coating and the plastic that's in there. But they did a fantastic job. I can tell they put some work into it to get the two parts to match up almost perfectly. And again, maybe there's batch variation. It's possibly better or worse on different colors. But I think they went the extra mile and did a really good job of color matching the main body with the plastic here on the injection molded section. Black trim with the yellow just really sets things off. At the end here, uh, again, it's the price point. If this pen was more, maybe $20, I, I bet this part here would be a little bit nicer. It just looks like ABS plastic that's injection molded, but it fits in there nice and it fits the price point too. And I'm always a little suspect, a little bit leery of how well a pen will perform, but I have not been let down with this, in, this one whatsoever. Uh, let's just get to the writing sample, and then I'll do a size comparison and wrap things up. I'll do a proper writing sample in just a moment, but I thought I'd show you the Hongdian Fine versus a Yovo Extra Fine nib. That's just my Gravitas pocket pen. So you can see there, there's the uh, Yovo Extra Fine, the Hongdian Fine, so you can see the same line width there. Now, for whatever reason, I find I like this pen more for printing than writing. When I do any cursive, it just doesn't seem to come out as nicely with my handwriting versus printing. I absolutely love this one. It's still, it still, it doesn't mean it doesn't write well. It's just, you know, maybe I'm still getting used to it. I've used it for about a week and a half now, so I'm surprised. But I still keep reaching for this pen. It's great for notes. Anytime I got to reach for something really quick, fill something in. It's been reliable, it hasn't dried up on me whatsoever, and it just slips on and off perfectly, posts. And as I said on here, like this is the perfect yellow. I think the other colors that they have just don't suit as, as well. I think they need to have brighter colors like this, like a lime green, a nice aqua, a bright vibrant red versus the red they have just looks like a bit of a, a little bit too dark perhaps. Again, that's personal opinion. But, you know, just a beautiful pop in blue versus the one they have. I just printed this little bracket. But even something similar to this blue, a brighter blue uh, in this pen body, I think would look really, really, really nice. Uh, let's give you a size comparison and then we'll wrap things up. But these are all the points with uh, the pen that I really enjoy. I think they just knocked it out of the park with this one. And, you know, if someone's wanting to get into fountain pens, this would be one I'd recommend to them as well. The only downfall, as I mentioned earlier, is just at this point, nib choice isn't the best. Hopefully that improves over time. 137, 121, 146 and a half, 13, 13. Starting at the black ring there, we got 11.7 and the section tapers down until you start touching the nib, oh, about eight and a half millimeters. And the cool thing with this section is you can just grab wherever. So if you like to go down low, way up high, I've been using this pen all sorts of ways, even gripping way back here if I'm doing some sketching. It's comfy no matter where you hold it. Comparing with other pens, we have the Hongian C1, Lamy LX, Monteverde Ritma, Lamy Studio, and then a Paniter Avatar UR Demo. So it does shorten down once the cap comes off, but again, you can post it and it's a perfect size. You know, I think that's where we'll leave things. I want to thank 365 Day Stationery for sending this Hongi NC one my way to review. Check out their store. I'll have a link down there in the description. Of course, they carry this pen, but a bunch of others as well. I'd love to hear from you if you have one of these, how it's been working for you. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I thought, oh, it looks like a cool pen. We'll see how it does. 
but it has really exceeded my expectations and it has become a favorite right away. I will say this, had it been a different color, I might not like it as much, but I just can't get enough of this yellow. They did, like I said, it's a perfect job on this color yellow they chose. And especially with the black, even all the trim rings, the, you know, the coating on those has drastically improved. It's really good. So hats off to uh, Hong Dian for making this pen. Great job. Love to hear from you if you have one, how it's been working for you. Feel free to hit the thumbs up if you like it. And also hit that button over there because they did send a really cool pen that uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway for. It's a nice one too. Gold nib, all sorts of stuff like that. So you want to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Till then, we'll catch you next time.